Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. As you can see, we're once again joined by Mark from Qualtex. Mark, thank you for coming in. Great to be here, Greg. And today we're going a little bit bananas. Yes, we are talking about the new banana kit. Now, those of you that came on the Chris Adamo tour, um, you would have seen Chris talk about this and people were saying, oh, where do we get one of those? Where do we get one of those? And there was nowhere in the UK to get one of these. So Pioneer brought them into the country and sold them all. And <laughs> yes. now we've got some and we're selling them, but currently you don't have any, do you? No, so, not in stock at the moment. But we do have some available. But this banana kit is designed, well, I'm gonna let Mark tell you more about it. But um, in fact, yeah, Mark, over to you. Tell us all about this banana kit. From um, well, it's from Click Click. Yep. Uh, uh, and uh, as you know, great products including the Mag mover, magnets. Yeah, um, you've done lots of work with the uh, uh, stickiness. Yes, the, the 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 balloon tape and the balloon bond. It's great so stuff. Um, uh, uh, this is essentially the easiest way possible to get a line over the top of uh, a, a beam uh, or uh, through an eyelet or somewhere up high that's not easy to access. Yeah. Um, um, you know, even at uh, places like Spring Fair where you, you, you're exhibiting and you want to get some security and you want to uh, take stuff over the yeah. line, it's high up in the air, it's really difficult to do. And invariably you, you, you do the worst thing ever, which is you tie a heavy weight to one end and then <laughs> you literally yeah. you know, launch it uh, uh, through the air over to the other side and hope that you don't kill somebody well, or some people maim. might do that but i'm sure nobody at pioneer has ever done anything like that have no, they? from no, a health no. and safety point of view <laughs> never, never certainly not me never done anything like that <laughs> so this negates the need to take some exactly. health and safety risks exactly and and it's really important these days um uh, you know you need to do risk assessments you need to uh, 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 to work within the confines of safety and sometimes without the uh, uh, the proper risk assessment you wouldn't even get the client yeah uh, that's regardless the of your price absolutely you know, really yes. important. some venues now they, they need to see that full risk assessment they want to know all about your equipment and at least now you, you've got the option to say hey this is how we do it we're professional we know what we're doing so uh, because I am so professional uh, <laughs> this is the first time I've actually used this this is gonna be really exciting yeah, for me yeah. uh, um, so we're gonna have a, a go with it today um, should, we, should we have a look let's open it inside? up unbox it so, uh, a nice little storage bag with some destructions. Yep. <laughs> You're going to do the standard man thing and not read those. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have a mag mover in there, uh, which we all uh, uh, lo love and uh, use. There's a lovely pair of uh, uh, small safety scissors. Ergonomically designed by the looks of it. Oh, they feel nice. Um, there's the uh, loop line, I don't, and I, uh, this isn't readily uh, available at the moment in the UK, but it's really, really good stuff. Um, the loop line is uh, a nylon line that's uh, uh, tied together in uh, uh, two inch uh, gaps. Yeah. Um, so that's really, really useful. Um, it negates the, uh, the need for knotting in many cases, because uh, you can just pass that through, open a loop up, and then pull through the rest of the line. Okay, yeah and then you get a nice secure attachment point. Very easy. Um, you can also use it to measure how many knots are in between oh, what right, you're yeah. hanging and, and, and the magnet itself and yeah. where, where you're hanging it. Uh, and that's really good if you want to do repeated work yeah. or you need to ensure something's hung flat. Yeah. Uh, uh, so that's, that's, that's really useful. So that includes a reel of this. And then the main event is your banana tool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a magnet on the end, and I'll, I'll describe what that's for in a minute. Um, uh, and you do need a, a, a mag pole. Mm -hmm. That's one we prepared earlier. So the mag pole is designed so you can uh, uh, start working and start attaching things up to five and a half meters off, off, off the ground. I love really the magpole cool. because you can use it once again in a very safe manner in that a lot of ceilings would be under that five, whatever it is, how many meters? Five and a half meters. Five and a half meters. Yeah. Um, they, you, you don't have to take it off the, off the ground, off the floor no. at all. I mean, that's you? the best so. bit is that you can literally just leave it. There's a good uh, rubber footprint. Yeah. It's nice and secure and you can leave it in position and just work all the way up to the, to, to the ceiling height. But it's still light enough that when you do need to lift it up, you've just exactly. got to be careful, but you can do that. And the only advice is to, is to lift vertically up. As soon okay. as you're, uh, you move off the vertical, you are the fulcrum point of the whole yeah. of that line. So the yeah. weight becomes more of whatever you're lifting. So as long as you're lifting vertically, you should be absolutely fine with yeah. that. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, so yes, the banana tool just sits and screws directly on top of there. Okay. 
okay and then it allows you with the ball tool and the magnet on the end yeah to attach the loop line and have the loop line run through here yeah that you manage and secure with your hand and then you can drop that directly over the top of uh, uh, of, 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 of you know the rsj or or whatever part of the beam uh, that's in the building uh, drop that down attach what you need to mm -hmm. on the other end and, and, and then pull it back up and secure it into position but what if you've got some really skinny gaps or eyelets or something so up on the ceiling you've got a little eyelet that drops down that somebody has attached something to before and you want to attach it to that but obviously you're not going to get the ball through there are you no and the clever guys at click click have actually come up with this attachment it's as if i knew that was in yeah, there isn't it, it is that actually sits onto the magnet at the end I didn't realise it actually sat on like that. Yeah, so that's that's what the magnet's there for, essentially. Ah, so that, 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 okay. that doesn't... It's going to come free, um, and it's designed to come free, but when you want it to. So the yeah. magnet's there to, to hold it in position. And then, of course, you can, if you've got a really small hole, you can actually thread that through. And then you just and sort then of you, rattle... Yeah, and then, and then it comes that, down. And then that's okay. going to drop through using its own weight. Um, and these are these are nicely designed. They're, 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 they feel like they're rubber coated in some way yeah. and the ball itself um, is a nice spongy soft ball so so ironically if you were to throw it <laughs> it'd do less damage I, I was thinking more if you did drop that on the floor it's not going to damage the floor yeah or the kit yeah that's what i was thinking yeah exactly <laughs> i think mark the best way to demonstrate this is to to go and give it a go but before we do that what, what have you why have you got that there well i wanted to show that we've got the normal uh, dual mag mover here uh, and I think we have a, a, a BMTV where we've um, we've shown the Magpole before. We did, we showed the Magpole when we were putting that big starburst up in the in the warehouse didn't we? But this is this is this is my kit and it's a rather than the single mag mover it's the one I use more often than not. Um, it's got all the uh, functionality of the single uh, mag mover but it just means that if you are attaching two points up or if you're hanging a sign or if you're hanging a piece of decor that needs two attachment points that you can um, a attach one point put them all on there so both points are on attach one side move to your second position oh, and I attach see. a second okay. position without actually um, coming back down yeah so if you're attaching things at height you'll find that the the, the bit that becomes awkward is the, the the amount of line you've got between the distance of the floor and where you actually want it to be I see. so again okay. this, this this stops you having any issue with yeah. that yeah very clever very nice. Um, I think anybody that did come on the Chris Adamo tour, they would have seen that he does some amazing stuff. Hello, Chris, if you are watching. Hi, Chris. Um, and it, 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 I just remember him saying that he goes into a room sometimes, and even with all his knowledge and experience and skill, he goes into a room and it's like, okay, how am I going to attach what I've sold to, to this? And he comes up with solutions. So the fact that he's suggesting this is one of the great solutions, I think is is, is a credit to this tool itself. So it is, and it sort of means that Chris hadn't come up with a solution yeah. prior to this that, yeah. that, that was better. Yeah. Uh, and I certainly don't know of one. Yeah. And, and, uh, and as I say, the worst situation but is the one that we we've all done. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Obviously, oh, so you're admitting it on camera. Oh, no. Um, we do have a section. If anybody did go to the Chris Adamo tour, if you've not seen it already and you want to buy some of the stuff that he talks about, we actually created a Chris Adamo section. So it's on the website. We'll put it up on the screen now. You can see exactly where it is. But, Mark, I think we need to go and, we need to go and do it. We need to have a play. Okay, let's go. So here we are in the warehouse, very hot warehouse to demonstrate this. Um, there is lots of action going on. DPD have just arrived, so you'll see lots of stuff going on. But ignore that and let's focus on what Mark's doing. So Mark, we're here. Okay. We're going to do it. So we've got our, our ball and our magnet. We're just going to attach the loop line directly to the magnet. On this occasion, I'm just running it through the ring. Yep. And then that attaches to the ball. Now we've measured twice the distance from the floor to where we're going to drop this over we did. Uh, and then we're going to uh, raise i've tied a three foot rose gold to the other end and we're going to raise it up using the uh, uh the banana kit so the loop line sits over the top and then just rolls down so the only real technique to get used to is you need to secure 
the loop line and it's good because it's got knots there's some extra friction on it yeah um so that when you press the button and extend the uh, mag pole you actually let the line run through your fingers yeah okay and then at each point you drop down to the next one press a button and then you can let that run out if you were to let that go then obviously the ball would 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 drop yeah. down so you've got to yeah. keep holding on to that okay we we'll take this all the way up i was surprised when i just held the magpole there a minute ago how light it actually is yeah i mean it does have some i think it's got quite a good weight to the to the base of it but for the size of the pole yeah it's great i think it's really good like you said you can get to a lot of places and you don't need to pick it up off the floor at all yeah so we're at the the, the maximum height now so okay. i'm just going to do a vertical lift up and over nicely done and then you can let the banana kit back down and i can pass you that okay i can bring that down on the magpole yeah i got it and then just gently reduce pressure on the line and drop that down you got it down faster than i can get this down let's pop that out of the way fantastic because we're done with that now aren't we done with that for the moment okay um uh, so i'm going to keep hold of the ring magnet and then i'm just going to hoist a decoration or whatever you decide into position and the nice thing of rather than uh, doing this now is visually you can decide on the height yeah from 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 on the ground whereas yeah. if you'd set it up before and just hooked it up directly to a beam um you, you'd have to be maybe up and down a couple yeah. of times until you got it into the right right position yeah. um so at that point you can secure the line off so you could just tie that to something you just tie that off to something on on this occasion though i'm going to use the loop line here and the magnet that we've got slide that through Your thumbs. We're just going to drop that to the side there and actually use the magnet to secure it. Yeah. Um, so the only thing I'd say there is if, what if a child came along and pulled it or something like that? Exactly. What can you do? So the nice thing is that you can secure this up and out of the way. So we can take this as, as, as high as we like. We can use the mag pole to, to, to hook this end up. Yeah. And as long as we're at the same tension, we'll get the same height. Yeah. Okay. Um, one of the things to be aware is that there's a lot of um, the, the pull or the, the magnetic connection, um, or the force is measured on a straight line pull, yeah. which is really hard. But if you were to try and um, uh, slide it, you'll see that there's uh, a, a lot less uh, um, uh, friction there to, yeah, to, to yeah. move, a lot less magnetic pull. So my only advice is if you're going to actually uh, uh, attach it somewhere, be aware that that can slide up. That yeah. it can slide. Yeah. But you can always secure that off once it once it's in, in it's in position. Yeah. Okay. Now there's one other aspect that we talked about. That was the long skinny thing. Yes. To get that through a small aperture. Aperture. That's a good word, isn't it? Small aperture. Um, we need to go and demonstrate that. I think we'll do that up there. Fantastic. So here we are in another very narrow part of the warehouse, and it's even hotter up here on the mezzanine. <laughs> so forgive the the dripping sweat. Um, so Mark, you're gonna you're gonna demonstrate this yeah. skinny tool now aren't so you? this is designed to go over the top of a, a, a beam where you've got a, a short a small distance between the beam and the top of the ceiling yeah um but we're gonna we're gonna go a bit further i wanted to test your skills <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do um so, so again attach the loop line off should we tell people what you're gonna try and get it through go for it right, go we're gonna try and get it through the little loop of a, a magnet so one of the um the, what are they called ring magnets ring magnets is up there and mark is going to try and get that through the ring magnet to see if it works so uh, again three foot's attached off um, there's a nice little magnet inside the top of the banana which holds uh, this tool there so um, it, it is going to release it fairly easy so you've got to be careful not to yeah. to, to, to knock this off so um, as smoothly as possible yeah so to let this go up as smoothly as you can so we'll take that to its full height and then 
Okay, so we're close to ring magnet now, and I'm going to drop this through. Oh, you made it. Try this through, and then at the end, you just need to give it a little bit of a shake. Wow. And that comes all the way through. And just pull it up. And just hoist up your decor. Oh, sorry. And then as before, you just attach this to whatever it is you want to attach it to. So just for speed, I'm just yeah. going to put that on there like Perfect. that. But you wouldn't obviously normally do that. You want it a bit more secure. So Mark, I have to say, I'm quite impressed with this. I know I saw Chris do it a few months ago, but to actually be close up and doing it and, and actually give it a go, I just had a go. Um, it's, it's really easy. It really solves that problem. Very, very easy to use. Um, no need for ladders. I mean, that's the biggest thing. That you, that yeah, of course, we didn't mention that, yeah. Biggest health and safety risk you've got is working at home yeah, yeah. Um, on any risk assessment. Yeah. Um, so being uh, having this correct equipment just means that you don't have to do that. Yeah. Um, and I know there's a lot of people that would be apprehensive to take on a job in a venue with a high ceiling where they weren't confident how to rig it and to me this just gives you the confidence to be able to take that work yeah. on i know when we renew our insurance they always ask do you do ladder work and yeah. um, thankfully the bapier insurance covers that so that's no problem at all. not that we do ladder work but it, it does so mark that's great as you know as guest on bmtv you should know by now question of the week it so, always catches me out though doesn't it i know well you, you should know by now so everybody the question of the week from mark drury is i'd like to know your rigging nightmare stories so Ooh. um yeah anybody that's had any form of balloon rigging past experience where it's been a challenge yeah leave your stories yeah. that'd be really good leave your stories in the comments down below on facebook and on youtube mark thank you so much for doing this thank you for subscribing thank you for watching we'll see you next week bye bye